with roots that stretch a considerable way back into the history of continental Africa, the Loa are at present, and for all intents and purposes, considered to be the deities of Voodoo or Voodoo. Now, among these various Loa, there's one who is said to have started it all. Today, I ask the question, who is Dambala? Dambala is one of the most important out of all of the Loas in the practice of Voodoo. He is the initial and primordial creator deity of all things and generally has the form of either a dragon or a snake. Most often, however, as a great white serpent called the Sky Father. He is well known for his extreme purity and being a stickler for cleanliness. This is somewhat reflected in rituals where this particular Loa will possess his devotees. Whereas the general practice then is to cover the devotee in a white cloth. And although he is clearly and highly associated with the color white, he is also associated with the color green. Just like all the other Loa, Dambala is clearly and most certainly immortal. He bestows wealth, prosperity, good health, and is also involved in fertility. Dambala is said to look after cripples, the deformed, albinos, and young children. In the past, offerings to Dumbala have consisted of things such as milk, rice, coconut, and other white foods, as well as a specific perfume known as Lotion Pompeia, or even something as simple as an uncooked white egg placed on a mound of white flour. Although Dumbala is seen as benevolent, patient, kind, and wise, he is considered to be unattached or disassociated from the day-to-day -day lives of human affairs. In fact, he generally only involves himself with people who are in dire need of his assistance. He has also been known to engage in sacred marriages with women and, on the rare occasion, with men. The snake god loves the precious metal silver, and if worshippers find favor with the god, he rewards them by leading them figuratively or literally to earthly riches. In general, he is well known for exposing and revealing lost treasures to the devotees. An interesting fact, seeing as how he is said to be married to a rainbow, and rainbows have a connection to the idea of a pot of gold sitting at their end. Once upon a time, there was only Dambala. He laid beneath earth, cushioning and protecting it from falling into the watery abyss below. Although he laid still for a long time, eventually he had to move. His movements raised mountains and created valleys. Stars were shaken up into the sky. Sacred waters were released, forming oceans, rivers, springs, and streams. He created all the waters of the earth. Not only that, he was involved in creating the land as well. The movement of his 7,000 coils formed hills and valleys on earth and brought forth stars and planets in the cosmos. He forged metals from his heat and sent forth lightning bolts to form the sacred rocks and stones of the world. When he shed his skin in the sun, releasing all the waters over the land, the reflection of the waters created a rainbow. Dumbala fell in love with the rainbow and made it his wife. This sky goddess was named Ido Wedo. There are some associations that are made with Dumbala to St. Patrick and even Moses. Ideas like Dumbala being the staff that Moses held, which turned into a snake at the feet of Pharaoh. Also, not to be forgotten that sometimes Dambala and the other Loa will occasionally find themselves in the pantheons of the Orisha, suggesting that ultimately they may share similar roots.